Dying Light 2 just got a new update and there are some secret changes in that very update. Plus you're in for a treat because in this video I'll show you how the latest hotfix pretty much broke Dying Light 2 into pieces. So buckle up because in this video I'll tell you everything about the new update 1.8.3. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I keep you guys updated with everything Dying Light 2 related. Now we all know the update size is not that big and it was barely 200 something megabytes on PC and over 432 megabytes on consoles. But the changes this update or hotfix brings is actually really big. So first of all, the big change for the people who bought the Bloody Ties DLC. Now it wasn't long time ago when for some reason people who bought Bloody Ties DLC were not able to access the quest First Blood that actually started the DLC. Yes, people who paid for the DLC could not access it. But after this update, everyone should now be able to access the DLC. All you need to do is basically go in the game, roam outside and wait for a radio call talking about the Carnage Hall. After that, you will get the First Blood quest that actually starts the DLC. Now coming to the next issue. So many people on Xbox and PlayStation come complained about not being able to save their game at all. In fact, in some cases, they can't even access their save files. Yes, every progress you made in the game was not being saved or you will actually lose the save file. But no worries because the developers have fixed that very bug and now you can properly save your game. So basically, these were the two mentioned patch notes. Now what about the hidden secret changes? Well, let's talk about it. So first thing I noticed in the game was the increased spawn rate for the few special infected. Like for example, now when you explore the rooftop of the random buildings, you will actually stumble upon the drowners. Not just once or twice, but a lot of times. During my session, in just like one area, I found like four drowners on different rooftops. So if you ask me, that's a decent but good change and kind of makes exploring on the rooftops a bit scary. Because let's not forget, if you don't have the toughness booster, you will end up falling on the ground and you know what happens after that. Also, for people who did not turn on the pumps to reveal the drowner zombie at the end of the game, tell me if you have the drowners in your game because that would be messed up. Anyways, the next change is related to the spawn rate of bolters. That to special winter event bolters. Now I'm sure you guys know that today is the last date for the event and by the time this video is out, the winter event would most likely have ended. So here's the thing, we have officially failed to collect 6 million stolen presents. Meaning we failed badly since we have only collected 2.6 million presents. So in short, we're not going to get this bobble mace weapon as a reward. Unless the developers are very kind and they give us this weapon regardless. <laughs> Anyways, my point is that they have increased the spawn rate for the bolters now when the event has basically ended. In fact, even after changing the amount of presents you get from the bolters, the numbers barely changed. The main reason was because regardless of how many presents you picked, the global goal only increased when you killed the bolter and searched its body. So basically counted the amount of bolter bodies you searched, not the amount of presents you picked. It's pretty weird. Now the next change is done with the special infected Banshee. So after this update, you will see a lot of Banshees during the chase or in random locations. Now during my session, I saw three of them in a close range and I was really surprised to see that. But being honest, overall, it's a good change. Next, y'all remember that recording tape that you picked at the end of Bloody Touch DLC? Well, that secret tape never played because of a bug, but now it's actually been fixed. So if you go in your collectibles and look for this tape, you can actually hear the confession tape without any issues. Stop, Tim. Stop. Me. I reckon I owe you an explanation. Next, there's something that was added in the update 1.8.1 that was recently again updated with the 1.8.3 patch. It's basically related to the upcoming chapter 3. Yes, we're going to get the next chapter very very soon, most likely this month or in February. Now the reason I say that is because in the game files we've actually found few assets in the game that actually are related to the chapter 3. So it's a good hint for what's coming. Next, just like always, this update fixes few stuff and breaks a lot of stuff that was actually fixed in the past. I'm sure you guys remember this loading screen bug on PC. So basically every time you load in your save file you would actually have to wait 20 seconds in a black screen. Yes, literally 20 seconds of a black screen before you actually get a loading screen with a picture. This bug was fixed in 1.8.0 update and now it's back again in 1.8.3 update. But hold on, that's not the big issue here. Now in the latest update the weather cycle and the lighting system is all broken. Yes, it's totally messed up. So have you ever had the infinite raining bug in the game? The bug where it's always raining and you see the fog all the time. Well, if you have that bug and you try to sleep, well, it's gonna make the bug even worse. So what will happen is that every time you would fast travel in a different metro station, the weather will change. Watch this.
and not just that if you keep repeating this there will be a time where you will come across a bug which will bring in multiple different weathers all together so now if you stand here and see you will actually see it's raining but if you walk just a little bit forward just few steps you will actually realize the weather is now clear and it's sunny the rain suddenly is gone But hold on, move ahead just a little bit more and you will see the weather is now clear but it's no longer sunny. It's actually now clouded. That's how broken this bug is. A good example will be from the safe house side. You can actually stand inside the safe house and move ahead slowly and you will notice the weather changes instantly the moment you go out. So do let me know in the comments how many of you guys are actually suffering from this bug after the latest update. I'm actually lucky because I've backed up my safe files but not everyone will be that lucky. By the way, has anyone ever seen this texture glitching like this before? I mean, this looks like an extra layer that's been put on top of these walls. So do let me know if you guys have seen this before. Anyways, that was all the secret changes and bugs I've come across in the latest latest update for Dying Light to 1.8.3. Let me know your experience with this update. Some people are happy with the fixes and some people are not happy because it breaks something. So do share your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, stay safe and stay human. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>